So you see you. Girly day. <laughs> Coming up, ex-Western Bulldogs man, Luke Darcy. It's going to get angry out there and we need to win, mate. And you'll be kicking goals with this week's Mates Race. Luke Darcy, from about 40. Luke Darcy last played AFL for the Western Bulldogs in 2007. But what about Ultimate Frisbee? All right, Luke, Ultimate Frisbee, have you ever tried it? Never thought about it. Up for a challenge, but uh, I get the feeling the wind not going to be our friend out here today. But let's give let's give it a go. <laughs> All right, you ready? Let's do it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> the best place to learn how to play ultimate frisbee is Albert Park, because every Wednesday Matt holds coaching sessions for free. All right, so ultimate frisbee. Uh, first thing you need to learn is how to throw and how to catch. Basically, you want to grip it nice and tight, put a lot of spin on it. Best way to catch is like a crocodile. So one hand up, one hand down. Let's, uh, let's see how you go. It's the exact opposite of what you're taught in footy, mate. You're supposed to just keep your hands on it that way, but you're talking that way, so, eh? Yeah, best way to catch is like a crocodile. Ultimate Frisbee was started in the 60s by a group of hippies and is now played in over 30 countries worldwide. This game certainly attracts a certain type. One of the good things about the sport is that there's no referees, even at the highest level at the World Championships. And so that's a self-selective tool for the kind of people that I like to hang out with. Hey, I'm Chuck and I'm 21. I'm Joel and I'm 19. And we, we love, love Ultimate Frisbee. Frisbee. I just love the spirit of the game. People are always really nice. Um, it's um, great sportsmanship and at the same time it's great agility work and yeah, good cardio as well. Okay, traditional toss of the Frisbee to see who starts. Luke, if you want to spin it around. That's and up. MJ, that's up, yep. So you're going to go up or down, MJ? Uh, Alright, here we go. Up. Down and we're going down. Luke's going down that way. All right, yeah. MJ, you and I are up this end. Let's go yellow. Keeping my eye on you. All right, guys, let's give them a good run for their money. Oh, they don't stand a chance. All right, hands in. <laughs> yeah. Yellow on three. One, two, three, yellow. All right, Chuck, we're nominating you captain today, mate. I've never liked the yellow team. I don't like them at all. It's going to get angry out there and we need to win, mate. That's what it's all about. All right, red on three. One, two, three, red! <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. So basically Frisbee, uh, there's two teams, seven on each team, one at each end. Uh, basically you pass the Frisbee back and forth between uh, your team members, working your way up to the other end. If you catch in the end zone, you score a point. Oh. Oh. So much fun, I have no red idea frisbee, what I'm doing. Frisbee, Red Frisbee, go, go. Mate. All right, so that's ultimate, guys. What did you think of it? Loved it, mate. Great game. Thanks for having us. No worries at all. So much fun, but hard. <laughs> yeah, a bit of running. Yeah. So I hate to say yellow, but even with MJ's help today, we uh, we lost. So congratulations to Luke and the red team. Yeah. Well done, mate. Luke has decided to celebrate his little win with lunch at Melbourne Public in Melbourne's South Wharf. Oh, this looks fantastic, Luke. What have we got here? Well, MJ, uh, you've got the chicken risotto. There's a little bit of food envy going on for me here Mine because that so is one good. of my favourites. Uh, but the yellowfin tuna is pretty special as well. Luke opened Melbourne Public in August 2011. Now, there's got to be a story behind these lights. MJ, there is. We salvaged these from the NAB uh, Bank building in Collins Street in the city, and our architects have restored them back to their former glory. We often find people at the bar staring up and asking that the exact question, where did you get them from? They're really cool. Yeah, thank you. Incorporated within Melbourne Public and connected by a covered walkway is the understated Citizen Cafe. So Luke, you can head into Melbourne Public for dinner and a drink and then you come down here for a great coffee. Absolutely, at any stage. We'd love to have you back. Not so keen on the Frisbee, you can keep that to yourself, but come back here any time. <laughs> right, in that case, I'll have a latte. My shout. Yeah, thank you. Free beginner coaching takes place at Albert Park every Wednesday during the school term from 7pm. Melbourne Public and Citizen Cafe are open seven days. For more info, head to coxie.com.au.